Hi, I think I announced my engagement on my YouTube channel like one and a half years ago and you guys were super excited about it. And since then, it was just dead silence on my channel. Like I didn't mention it anymore. I did not mention the wedding and I don't even call German boyfriend German fiancé. Because it's a very weird word. That's the thing, like fiancé. <laughs> That's why I don't call him that. But now I can happily tell you guys that we are officially planning for a wedding. Yay! Or several weddings. Oh! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so here's a quick recap so that you are up to date. Although I told in the net about my engagement one and a half years ago, actually we were engaged for like more than three years already. I lived with him for one year in Germany and then he popped the question and I was super shocked but I said yes and I couldn't go home at that time due to the pandemic so we have to keep it as a secret for years. <laughs> On the video where I talk about my engagement, there was just me there but today we have German boyfriend. Yay! It's me! <laughs> so uh, maybe he would like to tell you guys from his perspective about how did he propose and how did he feel about it. The stage is your honey. So I need to say that everything happened a little bit different than I planned it. So the plan was the following. It came up like in the time during our travels. Like there was that song we really liked. It was the lava song from, from the, the lava short movie about the two volcanoes that are longing for each other and stuff. I heard it for the first time when Ian played it for me. Somehow I directly felt connected with it in our story. So I planned actually to learn to play this song on ukulele and to write my own lyrics for it, then to play it for Yuen while we're sitting somewhere inside of a pool or next to a pool while we're traveling. Wait, wait, you plan to play it in front of me? Yeah. Oh, okay. That was the plan. Mm, the plan. Because it didn't happen like you, that. You already <laughs> that it happened differently because like somewhere on a pool while traveling was already cancelled by COVID. And like after we surviving COVID together, like the pandemic and the lockdown and everything together made me feel like I really would like to propose. I'm sorry for everyone who had a hard time, but for us, it was really like I didn't need to work and didn't need to go to study. And we just had time together and mm. it was really feeling awesome after all of the time being separated by half of the world between us. Mm. And like, yeah, that really, really felt just right. Mm. But like there was the problem that like it wasn't possible as I planned it. So instead of under the palm trees at the poolside, it turned out to be cold German winter. But I really didn't want to wait anymore. <laughs> And then also I found out pretty, pretty fast that Ukulele and me, we are not getting friends anymore. <laughs> My fingers are just too big for those tiny strings <laughs> and stuff. So like the plan changed. So I found the karaoke version of the song on the internet. Uh, but I wrote the, the lyrics by myself and it was related to us and everything. And so I was spending, I don't know, a weird day in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> I, we were at his parents' house and I was staying in our guest room and I was just wondering where is German boyfriend for the whole day? So I spent the time there and then I recorded myself all the time until I was satisfied with the result and yeah, then I had the video. So it's basically just like he was playing it, the whole love story of our, our love story. And I was like, wow, this is cool. But the thing is, I'm not surprised because German boyfriend, he's very romantic, creative ah. and cheesy. So he okay. liked to do like things like that all the time for me. So I was like, oh, this is sweet. But I did not thinking like, oh, this is so special. He must propose to me right now. I was just like vibing with the song. And then at the end of the video, he was just like, will you marry me? The last line of the song was, do you want to marry me? Oh, okay. I don't remember And then, and then Yuen looked at me and she asked, Really? But I'm not pregnant! <laughs> and this is not how I pictured it. But uh, yeah, I, I had no doubt as well. I was just shocked and I said yes. We were super happy. And then I told him to keep it as a secret for like a long time. Also because I don't wear my engagement ring and I don't want to have one. So a uh, German boyfriend <laughs> made me like a ceramic one, like a toy engagement <laughs> ring. Like during nighttime, I measured her <laughs> finger. Really? <laughs> yes. So I was just sleeping and you're like... <laughs> yeah, I took a piece of paper and put it around and then uh, yeah I made it from the polymer clay yeah. and was was baking it on the same day. 
Okay. And for everyone who thinks now, oh, it's that guy cheap. Like she said, she didn't want to. So. Yeah. Although we were at his parents' house, I asked him to not tell his parents because I was like still processing it for like three more months. Yeah, and you also said that you don't plan to tell your family soon. Mm. So it would be also weird to tell my family already. I had a weird ah. feeling about it, not telling my family. And because we kept it for a secret for such a long time, after more than a half year, there were friends that we forgot to <laughs> tell at the end. Yeah. <laughs> after three months, we tell his parents and then we started to tell people, but because it was not a big moment anymore. The, the thing is also, it was, was COVID time. Yeah, so we basically we met like anyone. one person at a time yeah. or something. For my family, I didn't tell them until a very, very long time. And uh, they were just like, Oh, okay, because in Vietnam, at least like in the circle of like family that I have, they don't really like have engagement. They just get married. So for them, the wedding is more important. The engagement is something like Western cultural. So they don't really understand. They're kind of happy for me. But for them, there's nothing certain yet until I'm getting married. That's the certain thing for them. Well, my family was just very happy about it. Uh, As I said, they were a bit confused that we told them so late. So we've been engaged for three years, Annie. How does it feel for you after we get engaged and until now? Did well, anything change? Well, it actually feels a bit different. I mean, I'm also not calling you my fiancé or something because the word is just weird. Even in German, I find it weird. And yeah, but it feels different. Really? I mean, like in my head, like we're engaged now and you're not my girlfriend anymore so. <laughs> for me honestly nothing changed like we were together for a long time then we lived together and after that we keep living together and having fun and also my family were not there your family were far away too so like there's nothing changed in our dynamic or relationship at all so yeah but it's not like a bad thing we were having a lot of fun so i'm not complaining And now allow me to explain why do we wait so long to have a wedding. I think initially the first reason was because we got engaged uh, during the pandemic. So we obviously have to wait until things get back to normal. And then when things get back to normal, we were just busy. And then we were kind of thinking like, uh, we need time to plan this thing. And I was trying to graduate at that time. So I don't have time. Somehow, to... also, someone was blowing out a full ass internet career. Yeah, like, and then after that, I was just like having a whole like content creator <laughs> career thing. Also, do you guys know how expensive weddings are? I did not know that. Especially wedding in Germany are quite like a lot of money. <laughs> so honestly, for the first and the second year after we get engaged, I was thinking of not even having a wedding. Like at that time, I was like, what is the point of a wedding? Like we're happy together. We should just like be modern and like minimal and just not having a wedding. But now after like a long time, I have a different perspective about weddings. For me now, it's more like a event so that friends and family can gather together to celebrate our love. And I think it's like kind of beautiful. It's the day when I'm and my boyfriend too. <laughs> are I, the, I will be there too. Yeah, yeah, are the main character and everybody would be there to like celebrate our love story. And I really kind of like it. For us, it's a little bit more complicated as always <laughs> because i was born and raised in vietnam all of my family members and most of my friends are in vietnam he was born and raised in, in Ger germany in germany and then all of his That's friends and I'm family the there boyfriend. um having one wedding to have all of them together is super duper hard i mean if you have a wedding in germany um my vietnamese family and friends have to apply for a visa to get here and the visa process is extremely long. Like they have to travel to the capital just for applying. They have to translate their document. It's like a whole full-time job for like a week. It's really too much to ask for my family to like come here for the wedding. If we go to Vietnam for the wedding, I don't think many of German boyfriend's friend and family can come. My parents, for example, is also the same, like very long yeah. flights. So yeah. Having wedding in one location is not an idea. 
That is why, after a lot of talking, we decided to have two weddings: one in Vietnam and one in Germany. So the wedding in Germany will be just me and my friends in Germany and all of his friends and family. And the wedding in Vietnam is for me, and only German boyfriend will be there. The good thing is my family has four daughters, and I'm the last one. My parents already made like three very, very big weddings for my sisters. So for me, they are very chill. They were like, uh, "Do whatever you want." The whole Vietnamese wedding and German wedding deserve like a whole video. So we talk about that later. So yeah, at the moment we are still at the very beginning of the planning. We just decided the most important thing that there will be two weddings. And, and it's not in a brewery. Exactly, it's not gonna be in the brewery. If you guys happen to know any good wedding locations around Mannheim, Germany, please let us know. That would be very appreciated. Thank you. About the date of the wedding, initially I wanted to get married this year because in Vietnam we plan the wedding in like two weeks, maximum. So I just thought if I said I want to get married, I can get married next month. But uh, apparently Germany doesn't work like that. So the thing is that after Uyen was not doing anything for a while, she was like, "Okay, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it." But of course, like for summer, everything is is gone already. Then she was like, "Okay, let's get married in autumn." But I hate autumn. Why? Like in October, everything is free at the moment. You can just easily book. Yeah, and there is a reason for <laughs> that. Listen, because now it sounds again like I'm the one who's like not spontaneous enough. But you need to keep on mind that Ian won't be here for whole July and August. Yeah, but then I'll be back in September. One month is enough of preparing no. for the wedding. Isn't I don't understand. There a scene in How I Met Your Mother <laughs> like this. Like I don't understand you guys. Sometimes we get wedding invitation from Germans over here one year in advance. What do you need to do to plan a wedding for like a year? Anyway, so I proposed the October date for him. He rejected. <laughs> He's like, I only get married when the sun is shining outside, the bird is cheeping, and the flower is blooming. <laughs> so it has to be summer. So yeah, that's why. <laughs> that's exactly how it's only. Yep, and uh, that's how we are getting married in next summer <clears throat> in Germany. <Yay. laughs> About the wedding in Vietnam, probably we have to do it earlier because in Vietnam the wedding is more like spiritual. So at least we would want to inform the dead people that we are getting married before we married in Germany. But uh, I have to talk to my parents. Can the, can the ghosts like fly to Germany? Maybe, maybe our ancestor would want to attend two weddings. You don't know. You have to tell them. I have to say that planning a wedding is a lot of work, and sometimes I just question myself: Is that worth it? Because I definitely want a wedding, but I don't like super stress out about it, and I don't think that it is like super duper important. I mean, it is one of the best days in our life, but it doesn't mean that I have to stress out so much and put like so much time and effort in planning it. I just want to have like a chill, low effort wedding. Talking about best day in life, do you know what Yuen just said that was her best day in her life? What? It was the day when she left the door, house door open and the neighbor dog went into our house. Best day of our life. <laughs> I get in the house, like there was a 30 kilogram black Labrador dog in front of the living room. He was like, hi. Then he started walking around the house. I was in the garden, the so I didn't notice it. His owner, <laughs> she was in front of the door. He was backing him coming outside, but he's like, no. Nope. It was so funny to see her because she was just caught in between like, my dog is in her house. I need to get my dog out. They didn't invite me to their house. I cannot enter their house. So she was standing there shouting yeah. his name, uh, waiting for him to come. But no, he was still investigating for food. Best day of my life, no doubt. <laughs> also, may I have to say, planning wedding is such a grown-up job. It's such a difficult, like complicated thing. Um, and Uyen already bailed out just by thinking that it's too complicated. <laughs> and actually yeah. we had an agreement then if nothing happens until New Year, I decide where we get married and it will be just the local brewery yes! for cheap money with good food and good beer. <laughs> you guys, like he wanted to get married in a brewery, like literally brewery. like a restaurant with 
next to a beer brewery, so it belongs to the brewery place. So you can taste beer there. It cannot be more German than that. So that's why after a lot of time, just putting it off. Uh, when the threat became like very real, German boyfriend was about to like book the beer factory. I'm gonna plan it, calm down. I'm gonna plan the wedding. I just adapt a new motto when it comes to wedding planning. Um, whatever the first option came up, and if it's not that bad, I take it. <laughs> if there's like five location and I find the first one and it was not bad, take it. Photographer, take it. Uh, food, take it. Like I try not to. Uh, spend so much time searching for like, oh, is it the best option? I'm not sure. Should I check it again? I just try to like make quick decision because honestly, I think it's all in your mind. Like mostly, it's just your attitude. Just like make a decision, and at the end, if you just like happy about things, things will turn out well. After we get engaged, my first imagination about the wedding is that I want to get married in a castle in Germany. There are a lot of castle over here, and some of my boyfriend's friends were marrying in a castle. And I think it's super duper cool. I would feel like a princess, and he would be my prince charming and something like that. But yeah, um, I quickly realized that it would be kind of expensive. At the moment, I became way more realistic about expectation for my wedding. Now all I need to have is like a restaurant with. Like a lot of space and a, an open bar because I like cocktail and I want my guests to have like cocktail all the time and they need to have good food. The thing is for me, my wedding day is not just about me. It's also about the guests. I want the guests to have like a very cool experience of a very fun event. I also wish to have like a dance performance between me and him. And I have been begging him to take like a private dancing class with me, but that is something that he wouldn't budge. It was like a no go for him. He doesn't want to dance. He doesn't like to dance, and he will not dance. What is your wedding expectation, honey? What do you want from the wedding? It would be very nice if you were there and you would say yes. <laughs> uh, oh, do we do the whole thing like, do you Ian want to marry this guy? And then I say yes, because in Vietnam we don't do it. I think so. Music. Do you want a DJ or do you want to take care of music by yourself or you want a band? I would love to have a band. I don't really care. Band is too expensive. But a band is cool. Like you, you tell them to play expensive. music, and they were like, "I found a love." But what is a DJ? Do they do like a? <laughs> or do they do? Can they play cheesy music for me? Of course. I, I mean, actually, you don't even need a DJ. You just program a playlist, and that's no. it. No, I really like dancing. If you guys don't know, I'm horrible at dancing, but I love it. So. In the evening, when everybody was like super duper drunk, we're gonna like tell the DJ to play music if we have a DJ. Why like, do we even do music. that at all? Why don't we just do karaoke? Oh yeah, honey. Actually, karaoke is a very fun idea for me. Whoa! <laughs> high five, high five. <laughs> I just... That's a great idea. Let's do karaoke. Anyway, for the wedding, I think the most important thing for me is just that everybody's having fun. We have a good time together. And uh, basically, that's it. For me, marriage from a realistic talking point of view is like a legal binding contract, and uh, that's so it. So romantic. Yeah. <laughs> I really hope our relationship won't change after the wedding at all. It's very good now, and I don't expect that because of the wedding, something would change or something like that. I also don't think that much will change, but I think. It should feel a little bit different. In my opinion, like when you're getting married, then you decide that you want to spend the rest of your life with that person. So like you should feel more secure and happy. Mm. And, you know. I mean, I do want to spend the rest of my life with you. But may I remind you that 50% of like marriage in Germany end in divorce. So it's not like once you get married, you're going to spend the rest of your life together for sure. It's because of how happy you are with each other. Yeah, so yeah, I, I want to spend the rest of my life with him, but it's not because we have a wedding together or something. It's just because we are happy together. Okay, so this is uh, so far what we plan for the wedding. If there's anything change or develop, I will make sure to keep you guys updated. Thank you very much for listening to us talking and yapping with each other. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Bye bye. That's my wedding hat, by the way. Really? Okay.